So today I'm taking a look at the OCZ Vertex 3 SSD. This is the 60 gigabyte model. I will be using this for myself as a boot drive. Here are the specifications. So we'll go ahead with opening the box and see what's inside. So on the back here we have an adapter to mount the drive in a standard 3.5 inch bay. So inside the box we have a My SSD is faster than your HDD sticker and the instruction manual. And finally we have the SSD itself protected in an anti-static bag. So there is the SSD and this is a SATA 3 6 gigabit a second SSD so you will notice a performance improvement when using SATA 3 over SATA 2. All you have to do to install the adapter is place it over the SSD and screw in four screws. It's as simple as that. It then just mounts in any hard drive bay like you would a standard 3.5 inch drive. So this is the first benchmark that I ran on the SSD using Crystal Disk Mark. The SSD is on the left and a standard hard drive on the right. The standard hard drive is a 1TB Samsung 7200rpm drive. So we'll go ahead and look at the results. So surprisingly the sequential write speeds on the SSD were slower than on the hard drive. But I believe that is something to do with this benchmark and doesn't reflect on the performance of the SSD. But if we go ahead and look at the read speeds, they are considerably faster on the SSD. And when you go down to the random write speeds and random read speeds, it's, these are the bottom three tests, it is considerably faster, a lot faster than the hard drive. So it shows that the SSD really shines when reading and writing small files. So the second benchmark I run was with ATTO, and this is the benchmark that they actually used to test the SSD. It does say on the back of the box. And I actually got some speeds that actually exceed the stated speeds on the back of the box. As you can see here, I got up to 550 megabytes a second read speeds and just about 480 megabytes a second write speeds. So it really does show that this SSD is quick. So I'm running a quick boot test now between the OCZ SSD and a standard 7200 RPM hard drive. So what I'm going to do is once uh, Windows has loaded up, I'm going to click on Google Chrome. And once Google Chrome is loaded up and the Google logo is loaded, that is when I end the benchmark. So it's sort of a test of how quick you can get on the internet. So after 31 seconds the SSD has finished and Google Chrome is up and you can access the internet. That is amazing, that is pretty quick. There was actually a slight delay there, that is actually my slow internet is waiting for it to connect. So if you have fast internet it would be even quicker still. So you might notice I've had to fast forward the hard drive video a bit because it does go on for nearly 3 minutes. It still goes on for another minute I think still after this so if you don't want to watch that just fast forward a bit and it does state the time it takes to load up at the end. So to wrap things up, this SSD is insanely quick. I use it as a boot drive and it boots up Windows really, really fast, you know, ridiculously fast. I've installed all my drivers and uh, all my software programs on it and I still have 26 gigabytes free, I believe, somewhere around that space. So there is a little bit of room left over after you installed Windows and all the updates to actually put a few programs on there if you want. And it does cost around 80 to 90 pounds here in the UK at the point of making this video but I'm sure it will drop in price fairly soon. So thanks for watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe for more.